Okay, what's up everybody? I debated on whether or not I was going to do this video or not, but I thought, screw it. Why not? Let's do it. It's uh, St. Patrick's Day um, on Sunday. We are rocking our green with the clover, as if there's not enough green going on in this setup with the chair and the lights and whatnot. Um, but yeah, um, customary for me to uh, do, a, do the Irish car bomb uh, every St. Patrick's Day. And seeing how uh, you know it's it's this weekend, I'm not I'm not going to be on the computer this weekend. As I'll do it now, uh, kind of get it get it done. <laughs> so, um, for those of you that have not done the uh, Irish car bong before, um, you have a pint glass. It may or may not require to have a gold horseshoe and a clover, which is actually it's not a four-way clover. That's weird. But it will require, however, the, the Guinness Stout. Um, personal preference, I like to use the can with the little nitrogen widget in it. Um, you may not have to, but that's how I like it. And then uh, I don't have big bottles of these, so I had to buy little nips. But um, Jameson Irish Whiskey and, uh, and, and Bailey's... Irish cream. Uh, I, I should rephrase. It doesn't need to be Bailey's. It does not need to be any any Irish cream you, of your choosing. But I think when it comes to the whiskey, you should go with uh, Irish with the theme. I mean, we got the whole the whole theme here. We got the we got the glass. We got the Guinness. We have the whiskey. We have the uh, the cream. The only thing that's not Irish here is the shot glass. Like the most probably most important part of this. Uh, Concoction here. It's a New Hampshire moose glass because I am in New Hampshire. Fun fact. There you go. So I'm going to open the Guinness over here because it tends to uh, like to spit at me. Only a little this time. The little nitrogen widget thing. Um, thing about Guinness. Um, it pours very easily, even though it's a can. And then, uh, for this drink, you only want it up about... That's a, that's a little bit more, but I was going to say about three quarters full. So then you end up, uh... Look at that. Because of the, uh, the, the nitro thing inside it. Um, with all the, uh, the frothiness in the crazy special effects. I got a glare coming off my screen. But, anyway. Gonna let that chill over here for a minute. And we're gonna set up our, uh, set up our depth charge here, as it were. Now, I've seen some people, they would layer this. You'd have, like, the, the, the whiskey on the bottom, and then the, the cream would be on, floating on the top. Maybe it's vice versa. Maybe it's cream first, and then whiskey. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to be doing that because I don't know how. I've tried it, and whenever I try to do it, it doesn't work. So, I'll need to learn how that is done. I thought I would need more than this, but apparently not. Um, yeah. So the whiskey's in there. The in goes the cream. Well, that's strange. Huh. So, yeah, there we have. You can't really see it, but there we have our our our, our depth charge there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this, this isn't going to be a long video. I mean, basically, we just you drop it in there and you drink. So, it's out of the way a little bit. So, kind of pinch it here. So, uh, yeah, you just you let it go, and uh, we chug all uh, all in one drink. So, here's a happy uh, St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Boom! A drink.
Ugh. Oh, that's some crazy curling at the bottom there. See that. Uh, yeah, that. <clears throat> yeah, that will happen. <laughs> that will happen. You'll get this uh, curdling effect uh, from the Irish cream if you don't drink it fast enough. Clearly, I, I did not. <laughs> um, yeah. If you're if you're a, a big uh, Guinness drinker like I am. It is so delicious. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> See, <clears throat> uh, Guinness is so light that like it's um oh, carbonation getting me. Um, because it because Guinness is so light, you you get this um really uh really nice easy drinkability factor to it. Um. And, uh, so when that's going down, you start getting the Irish cream and you start getting the, uh, the whiskey and, and, uh, the whiskey just kind of likes to, the taste of that likes to hang out on your tongue a little bit. And, uh, in the cream, it's, it's like this, this smooth finish at the end. It's, it's really delicious. I love to do it, do it this time of year. Um, a little bit of celebrating of. Uh, St. Patrick's Day. Very, very delicious drink. So, um, tell me, have you guys tried any drinks like this? Um, have you tried any bomb drinks where you just, you drop the shot in and you just chug away? Uh, I'd love to, uh, know some combinations and what, uh, what you've had and what you enjoy. Um, but yeah, that's, that's like the first drink of its kind on the channel. is isn't really a brew. Is, well, it is a brew. Is isn't really a, re a review, I should say. But, uh, it's something that I tried out a few years back, and I, I love doing it for this time of year, so I thought I might as well get it up on the channel. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and, uh, hope you guys have a great St. Patrick's Day, a great weekend, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> so, um, oh, if, if remember to, uh, uh, like or dislike depending on uh, how you feel about the video and uh, Subscribe if you want to see more we do beer reviews every week. So uh, We'll see you later. Take care